We've got some Origin campers here. Uh, we've been away for two nights and uh, we've been out at my brother's farm camping. So we've been down a few dusty roads. Uh, this is probably the first time the campers have been out on uh, some good dusty roads. We did go down to uh, the border ranges for a um, bit of a trip uh, just before Christmas, uh, but that was mainly on the bitumen. So this is the first time it's actually been on good corrugated roads and um, rough stuff. So this is why we've got the stone guard uh, set up on to try and prevent the front of the trailer getting smashed with stones because they're pretty heavy looking stones. Um, if you have a look at this, we've still got down at the front of the trailer, we've still got our ball style hitch and um, you know, that, that handles the gravel roads quite well so um, it does it does articulate this way with the trailer and you know if the gravel road use is pretty good the beach work is pretty good um, I like them don't have any issues with them we've still got the storage basket up the front we've got our bag of firewood way too hot for fires where we were so we didn't have any fires um, we took a little bit of water because there's a bit slack of water out there at the moment and I've also got a ground sheet on the front you can stick four jerry cans of water in there or a couple of bags of firewood and two jerry cans of water the trailer does have water underneath um, if you have a look at one of our other videos you um, probably see the video where I connect the hose onto that turn the taps under there and fill the water tank so I think we've got a bit of water left in there there you go and a hand pump set up the hand pump set up is um, a good unit because you don't have to worry about electrics failing um, you've, you've always got that hand pump you know they work well they're a good thing um, let's have a look inside we've been inside and taken some of the gear out already because uh, we are at home at the moment this is, this is where we live in the sort of half bush area so have a look at this um, got some of the stuff in there still uh, sleep quite comfortably in there you got your ceiling fan in there uh, we've got cup holders, 100 mil thick mattress, smoke alarm, plenty of ventilation, and uh, very quiet, I might add, very quiet. So, on the rear, we've got two drop down stabilizer legs. The last video was really, really quite windy, so I didn't have a chance to go through the whole trailer properly. So we'll go a little bit more depth this time. So we've got the rear drop down legs powder coated. Um, underneath we've got a 60 litre water tank. One 60 litre water tank. Um, if we pop down here, that box there underneath the trailer, that's where the battery lifts. And uh, that's accessible from the inside. You've got to lift the mattress up and uh, you can get into there. And it's a gel battery so it lays on its side. and you know, it doesn't need any maintenance, so they're a good thing. Let's have a look inside. Now, we didn't take a fridge. We didn't have to take a fridge because we were at the farm, so we didn't bother. Uh, the fridge is in the other camper trailer still. So, we just took that to basics with us this time. Mm. So we'll have a look and um, <laughs> see how... That's pretty clean, isn't that? Mm. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Happy with that. Now we haven't been here yet since we've been home. Uh, no real need to because we didn't take much out of it when we turned up. But this here lifts up like that. Magnetic latch on that. So you can get your cooking gear, pots, pans, your washing gear, knives and forks. Now this one, um, that slides out like on the other trailers where we undo that. That then slides into here. And the arm goes into there, so you have a little preparation table. Um, this one here. Now that's a quick little one just for um, those roadside trips. So when you stop at the roadside stuff, um, your fridge is generally in here, but like I said, we took it out the other day because we were using the other trailer. Um, quick little prep area basically you can fold it up quick you don't have to get it out and pull it out you've still got shade above you um, and you know this is how quick it folds up 
it's that easy you can put the little uh, hockey strap here on uh, now if you want to get your fridge out that just undoes like that so then have to drag the fridge over the top of it so you can either leave that at home or take it with you And that sits in there nicely. Now the stop it doesn't go that way because of this little bracket. So if I fold that back down for you, and say someone's got something on there and you come and lean on it, it won't it won't slide off. So it's like a little safety bracket. And to stop it sliding off when it's folded up, that does the same thing and that stops it rattling around. So, good little idea. Now, side guards. Powder coated aluminium, and they're strong. Designed so you can stand on them, so you can get up. No problems. You get up onto your roof rack. You want to put another rooftop tent up here, you can. Or you want to put a basket up here for more storage, you can. But the whole idea of them is to be strong enough to stand on. So, and this one. On the other video, it was at road height, so basically it was in road setup format, which was, you know, the tyre would have been up about here, the top of the tyre, um, for road use. So what we've gone and done is we've raised the trailer for a little bit more off-road, a little bit easier on the beach, um, not extreme stuff, but, you know, good enough for the gravel roads. So that's the difference. So it, is, it has come up a bit more. Um, and that's the only real thing we've done to basically make it uh, a little more suitable for the gravel roads, give it a little bit more bounce, a little bit more ground clearance, and, and it works fine, no problems at all. But uh, back up the front, again, back to the basket, and to make it this up a little bit more stronger, you probably notice that there's a lot of camper trailers around that don't um, have straps under the A frame which this one does, even though it's a small trailer, we've still got a strap under the A-frame. So that, you know, if you do happen to go through a big dip, hit it hard, there's less chance of that A-frame bending. Now, for some reason, a lot of people don't put them in. In fact, very rarely do you say you put them in. I reckon it, it, it needs to be there for strength. And that's got to be there. So we put them in. We put them in a bigger trailer, and we put them in on this one. Um, so again... Drop down jockey. We only have two jockey, uh, two rear drop down legs and one front jockey wheel on this because it's plenty strong enough to hold the front of the trailer up. Handbrake set up so the trailer's not going to roll away on you. Trailer only weighs at 680 kilos and it will take up to 850 kilos. We do have a lightweight suspension set up on it. Uh, we can go to a thousand kilos on the leaf spring set up. That's if you're putting a rooftop tent on it, um, just to take that extra weight. So um, we can also do other modifications. You can or you can throw in a fridge if you want. You can put in um, the rainwater catchment system. There's a whole heap of things we can do to the trailer. So the price tag it starts out at is base model. Um, this is this is an extra. Uh, we do do the aluminium box on the front. So it really doesn't matter. Talk to us, let us know what you think, and then we can put it on for you. So we can just keep putting stuff on if that's what you want. Awnings, same thing. We can go the full 360 degree awnings. We can go, uh, you know, the 270s, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. We put it on. All right, that's Rod from Origin Campus. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.